Today I'm going to talk about cross promotion. I believe it's the best way to get some of um, your existing customers to your new apps or maybe you want to partner with people to kind of promote each other's applications. It's free and it's um, kind of a great way to get customers that already love your stuff. So this is actually part of the store kit framework in the iOS SDK from U3DXT. Um, it's a Unity plugin. I'll show you how to get it set up. But first, uh, let's see what I'm talking about. So this application that I put together uh, very quickly kind of just shows all the different ways that you can use cross-promotion in your application. So when we click on the first button, this is an app that we created. Uh, it shows up the App Store. You can take a look at the ratings. Um, close that. Let's take a spot something more popular like do sex. From here, you can take a look at um, the screenshots, um, and of course, this is all from within Unity. And when you're done, of course, everything here is functional just like in the App Store itself. Uh, now, let's also take a look at how we would install something. So, for example, in the App Store, you can take a look at your wall companion, click Install button, and it'll install in the background. Here we actually have um, a list of apps created from the publisher Samingo or Samogo. So this is something that um, you can also do. You don't need to just look at one product. Now let's see, how do we do this? Um, so for within Unity, uh, the U3DXT folder under prefabs, we have a store product view. From the store product view, we just need to plug in um, the item identifier um, and that's it. But uh, there's a little bit more to that that we can take a look at in the cross-promote uh, example. As you can see, uh, we just need to call the show uh, function from within the store product view controller to show it. But if we want to programmatically kind of put in various products, uh, we can do that too by calling the low product function. Uh, one thing that we have to make sure that to do is uh, in our examples, in the cross-promote example, we need to make sure that, of course, it's pointing to the correct prefab, the store product view uh, controller. So we just kind of drag that in. And I mentioned the item identifier. How do we know what that is? Well, there's a couple of ways we can figure out what that is. And, um, well, if we take a look at uh, the iTunes App Store, uh, there's an ID. That's the ID for the app that you want to show. So any app um, that you want to show, you would use that. Now, if you do know the ID, you can get a bunch of information by using this URL above. But most of the time, we just know what a bundle ID is that, um, uh, that from an app that we created. You can use that URL. Do a search for um, artist ID. This is your publisher ID. If you put this in, you'll get a bunch of um, apps related to what you did. Or, uh, more importantly, the track ID. The track ID is for the app that's similar, or that is the bundle ID. So this is what you would want to use if you want to show that particular product. Now, we just compile, and that's all there is to it. 